To travel now, our resident travel expert Debbie recently toured the top of Ireland and I got to go too. Well, you do have the gift of the gab. It seems silly not to take you. It was good fun. We had such a good time over there. Yeah. I mean, we traced your family history in gorgeous County Fermanagh. That was incredible. And then we drove over to the West Coast, Wild Atlantic Way. Take a look what we did. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I give up. I'm in Ireland this week on the Wild Atlantic Way. If you walk up the rocky path at Sleeve League in southwest County Donegal, you'll be rewarded with dramatic views all the way back to Donegal Bay. At its highest point, the cliff face rises over 600 metres above the Atlantic Ocean. They are uh, said to be the highest sea cliffs in Europe, maritime sea cliffs in Europe. So uh, we are estimating that between 160,000 and possibly 200,000 people are visiting here every year. In this parish alone we have 7,000 years of history of stone. So hence then some of the stone sculptures that you'll have noticed on the, on the, on the walk to um, the viewing point and to Sleeve League. Uh, some of these tell stories of folklore and tales of ancient myths and legends of the area. I think people now here appreciate it far more because of the travellers and the, and the visitors. And a lot of people now, local people, you, you find they go up there, especially in the evening time when it's quiet. And, and they appreciate the sunset and the beauty, I think, a lot more than what we did, definitely. Yeah. Are you still impressed by it? Do you still Absolutely, it? yeah, because it doesn't, I think it doesn't matter how many times you go there, every time you go, you see something different. We're staying in the town of Donegal. The Abbey Hotel has regular Irish entertainment and is often ground zero for local celebrations. Right next door, the award-winning Market House restaurant, famous for its steak on the stone, and its extensive gin menu. We'll say slanter to that. The day after, you'll be needing some coffee. A local's tip, the best coffee in Donegal, right this way. It may not look like much, but this container in a car park is home to the first zero-waste coffee shop in the province. The best coffee in Donegal. That's it. <laughs> awesome, brilliant. What do you do on your days off? Do you go surfing or anything like that? Uh, we usually hit the beach, uh, go to Ross and Ella, uh, just at the, uh, on your way to Sligo. Go to Strand Hill as well, which is on the Wild Atlantic Way. It's a nice seaside town with some restaurants, bars, and you can do a seaweed bath there if you're into that. Oh, seaweed bath? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Have you done that before? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. We may come across the local seaweed today. Mel and I are posing for the local news media before we get to surf Ireland's wild Atlantic way. Today we had small tollen. It was kind of in the region of about a foot, so about knee height waves. Uh, it was really nice in terms of it's clean. Uh, we had some lovely dolphins to accompany us out there today. Um, and it was a off, slight offshore wind, which gives really con good conditions. Now, the same conditions, if we can add a four to six foot swell, will give us pump and surf. There's a distinct lack of surf today, which is actually great for me as a complete beginner. <laughs> for surfy chick Mel, it's a chance to work on her technique. That's the great thing with Bundorn is, you have a whole range of uh, well, fairly secret spots that go along the coast, uh, the reef breaks, and um, then you've got for the intermediate surfers, kind of some of the beach breaks, and then beginner surfers again, um, this beach and Rosnola Beach and Strida, uh, really good. So it's kind of covers all ranges. Is it a bit of a feather in my cap that I've surfed the Wild Atlantic Way? Well, yeah, it's definitely something you could tick in your box because it's. See, for Ireland, this will be kind of the surf capital of Ireland, so it's nice to have surfed that. And yeah, it is. It's really nice. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> that, that was awesome. It really was great. The water was so cold, but I mean, once you're in there surfing, we, we stayed in there for about an hour. Yeah, we had pretty thick wetsuits. Yeah, we did. It was really great. And the hot chocolate afterwards, perfect. Yeah, Absolutely it really brilliant. was. It was so good. Such good times. Can't wait to go back to. Now, we travelled to Ireland courtesy of Ireland.com and Emirates. Emirates flies daily to Dublin, offering you a seamless one-stop journey while enjoying the airline's award-winning service. And it'll have you arriving like the cafe crew did, in perfect shape to enjoy Ireland's engaging charm and heart-filling experiences.